Hola familia, welcome to our channel of Yelly and Suli. Bienvenido a nuestro canal de Yelly and Suli. It's only me, Yelly, and for this video. Um, this video is totally different from what we usually do, our makeup and hacks and um, trying out clothes, you know, our different, um, you know, different size and in ages and things. This is something that I did um, and I thought I'd put it together and share with you. It's something that is trending, is very popular right now. I don't think it's gonna go away, so it could trend. And that is um, balloon art, like balloon arches and bouquet. Um, it's really popular right now. You'll see them if you're going to baby showers or, or bridal shower or birthday party. I did two. Um, this video is my second um, time doing it. You could all, always, um, you know, Hire somebody to do this. They do an awesome job. It's like, it's beautiful. But if, if you're like me and you just want to, you know, you're curious, you want to try it and also save you some money, um, you know, then you're going to want to do it yourself. So I did it for the second time. The first time I did it for my daughter for her birthday. I did an arch without the wire to, um, to hold it. Um, and then the second time I did my son, I did kind of a four- his num the number he turned four, so I put a four balloon with like a bouquet. I was supposed to do an arch, but you'll see why. I just um, struggled, but it was so much fun. Um, and so just watch it and let me know. Um, and I'll comment after you watch the video. Okay. So, lo que este video es to totalmente diferente de lo que hacemos en este canal, uh, Yelly and Sully. No es de maquillaje ni de tratar ropa. Es un video que yo hice y quería compartir con ustedes a ver algo que está muy popular. Yo no creo que se va ahí. Está trending, como se dice. Y ese es globo de arco o de ramo. Y yo hice, tre ha tratado dos veces de hacerlo. Y en la primera hice un arco para el cumpleaños de mi hija. Y tengo una foto por ahí, se la voy a enseñar en, en un ratito. Y otro es um, un ramo de de globo, si eso es lo que hice, tú sabes, y puse el número 4 eh, en, en ese ramo para el, el niño que cumplió 4 años. Y ahí le voy a enseñar um, algunas técnicas que yo aprendí, estoy tratando. Um, yo creo que lo más que lo hago, mejor um, voy a uh, hacerlo mejor la próxima vez. Y algunas familias me están pidiendo que, que le hagan eso, otro arco, so, lo voy a tratar y voy a ver si aprendo otra técnica. Um, pero sigan mirando y después les comento, después que vean el video, lo, com, que yo pienso del proyecto que yo hice. Um, so, just, you know, on this video, you're going to see some of the techniques that I picked up. And, um, I mean, the more I try it, hopefully I'll get better at it. So, but I just hope this inspires you if you want to do it. And um, I really have family member asking me to um, like maybe do another balloon art. So, uh, you know, I'm going to like try to practice and see if I could perfect what I did last time to do it better. Um, so, so, so just keep watching. Primero le quiero enseñar lo que tengo aquí. Tengo el número cuatro. No sé si me va a trabajar con la pompa, pero voy a, a ver. Después tengo, este es 160. Uh, globos, balloons, vejiga. Y después tengo la 270, 260. Tengo la máquina de pompa que la voy a sacar ahora. Y tengo un montón de globos aquí para combinar. Y lo que pienso hacer es, um, son cuatro globos juntos y después cuatro más y después combinarlas juntas. Um, ok, so the first thing I do have here is the number four. Um, I hope it will inflate with the pump. Let's see. And then I got these some um, twisted techniques that I'm going to show you how to do. It's my first time ever doing this. Um, well, it's not my first time. I'm lying. It's my second time. But I think with practice, you really get better. There's two techniques. Um, this is one technique. Um, so maybe I'll use both. And this is the other one. Um, it's very challenging. It looks so easy when they do it. I also have my pump and the balloons that I have is 260. These are the 260, these are the 160. I have a pack of um, balloons here, my tape and my string. Aquí tengo mi hilo mi, eh, para amarrar los globos de my string. So let me get started. All right. 
Oh my God, that was a workout. Um, whew, look at that. So I got that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I got my four balloons. And then I do another set of this. Um, and the reason I do helium is because I, I want to fill, you know, up. I wanted to just have it down so I could attach it to the base. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's do that now. So this is the pump and we'll see. We could do two balloons at the same time. So, so here's the balloon. You have to size them. If you're gonna do quasi, van a ser cuatro y la quieren en el mismo tamaño. Lo puedes hacer por con sus ojos. O puedes un cartón y, y cortar un ciclo de nueve pulgadas. Or you could take a carton, um, a carton of box, cut it into a circle, like a nine-inch circle, and you could just put the balloon there, and you can have the exact measurements. But I'm eyeing it, so, and I'm winging it. Um, so I'm looking at the other balloons. And what you do is you just tie it. Y la cosa es que la amarra las dos juntas. Así. Y es difícil con eso para mí. What you're gonna do now, you got these two, see? So, aquí voy otra vez. No sé si pueden ver. Lo voy a amarrar así. Entenme. So, lo que voy a hacer es así. No, que los palos no caigan así. Así. Y voy, I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to um, put it together. And then, let's see. And then put the four up there. I know you can't see it but in a bit, but I'll test the four up here. And then I'm going to do an arch. So, in a bit. So now I'm going to attach the quads. Um, so voy a, a amarrar lo, los globos juntos. Así un seis. Después vamos a ver cómo voy a, a poner el número cuatro ahí. Okay, so we're back. Um, so I'm ready to do my base. I'm trying to, sorry I'm rushing because the kids are on their way here. My husband's on the way to daycare to pick them up. Um... So this is what I'm going to do. I think I want this. Because it will be nice like this. But, so what I'm gonna use is uh, the 160 balloon to tie it, it's secure. So lo que voy a hacer es el string de globo, el hilito este, de globo, y lo voy a amarrar para cerrarlo. Y esto es mejor que esta cinta para mí. Yo prefiero, the 160. I prefer to tie with the balloon than this. So, vamos a ver. Y lo, don't worry about it. Says, if it gets out of, out of form, you can always tie it. Like, just make sure you not do the knot first. And then you can figure out everything like that. Well, that didn't work. Oh. So 
try the 260. So now we're ready. I have the base. I'm going to use a 260 um, string balloon. So we also a global de 260. Eh, que es como un, tú sabes, una, no es redondo. Y es más fácil de amarrarlo. Yo creo que voy a comenzar desde abajo y lo vamos a amarrar. So, lo que voy a hacer es que lo voy a... Eso es lo que voy a hacer. Voy a poner aquí abajo. Para que se algo. Y después poner este arriba. Déjame quitar algo que no es... Estoy apurada. I am rushing because the kids are on the way, so I'm probably gonna finish this later tonight. And so will we continue? Oh, there, I got it! Yay! Tight, it really tight. This secures it really good. And I prefer to use the 260 string balloon right now than the the string. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do one eight like that just to make sure. There. That is tight. Por lo más re. Y todavía tengo el hilito. Mira ahí. Para amarrar el número 4 o oh. eso vamos a ver cómo lo va a hacer. So I have enough strength to stuff on the 260 to tie the next song balloon. Because my goal is to add this here. Uh, so we're going to see it. So to make it easy, what I do is I stretch this one. And then I, I put the 160. Para hacerlo más fácil, entra el globo más la quito entre de este es que yo ahora que lo estoy estrechando I'm trying to so what I do is I just stretch it out uh. <laughs> ahora now I, I'll I'll put the smaller one in here entre el pequeño a ver si se me hace más fácil to see if it's much easier to get it in there Even so, almost there, almost there, see? Okay, I got it in, yay! Okay, so what you do, see these two? Make sure the one, the red, the small one, and the big one, the 260, 160, like that. Now you have to feel over here to see where the end comes. So let me see. And it's very short. Oh, so right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a knot. When you feel the um, the one inside ends around there. So lo que estoy buscando es que estoy sintiendo donde está el rojo, the red one, where it ends, donde termina aquí, de por algo un nudo. Okay, so es un nudo. Y esto es, es todo, es todo part that's the hardest for me. Ah. So, it's doing the nude way. I hope I got it. We'll see. Okay. Then, esto, you put it on the green one. So, you're going to pump the green one, not the red one. But you're going to have to hold on tight to the red one. So, you look, tiene que dar la pompa al aire al verde, el, la, el globo más grande, y, a, y agarrar este rojito para que no se vaya. So, aquí suerte. Let me see if I get this accomplished. Can you see the curve? It's curling. Now this is 
now I'm going to tie it until I let some air go. I made this one too tight, so. To make it snap, it's going to be tough for me. Because I have to get both. There we go, see? I'm trying to. Mm. You're supposed to use two fingers, but this is really tight. So, I'm learning. So there it is. So what you do now is trying to get that one in here. So you got it. And I don't think I'm gonna be successful getting this one in here. It's like a little happy face. This end, this is the end that you will attach it to the your um, bouquet of balloon to be a balloon. So este es este final es este lo que uno usa para amarrarlo al eh, ramo de, de globo que, que yo estoy haciendo para, para los otros globos. Y este lo tienen que meter, sí. Yo lo tengo visto, ahí se me está saliendo el aire. Eh, meterlo aquí en la carita. So I'm gonna try another one. Let's see how I do. See, look at that. See, like that. Get it in there. <laughs> So for this technique, for this technique, the la, second la is that you have to find something um, that you can wrap the twisted balloon. This type of globo. So what I'm going to do is take this end, this point, this point, you're going to take this end and tie it around the toe. I would think a skinny one works better because then you get a... Uh, a much smaller, more it will be more curvy, I'm assuming, and also want to end up being like this long. The end, see, and the other thing is you have to make sure. Then you wrap it around flat. Okay, like this. Okay, so now, so you guys can see, I'm gonna try to hold it like this. And, oh, my boy thing is bending. And you start pumping. Ah! And make sure you hold your pole because you wanna, so right now you can see I'm gonna let some of the air out so what other way the hell I did, but uh, then it, so I let some of the air so I could be able to not set a noodle so I can be able to make a knot. And, uh, uh, so I got it up. Now I'll loosen it up here. Ahora lo suelto aquí. I will loosen it up here.
do you guys think? Not the best for a for a beginner. What do you guys think? <laughs> Esto es para alguien que nunca ha he hecho esto muchas veces. Esta es mi segunda vez. ¿Qué ustedes piensan? chiquito el otro, la, otra, la primera forma y para más largo la segunda forma so I'm thinking for more curves um, to make a small you know twist it um, the first technique and then for a longer more stretchy um, curves use this technique that I just show you with the pole um, I just have to play around with it until I figure it out but I think these are okay right <laughs> So let's see, I have to continue. I'm going to now go with the regular um, 12, I think it's a 12 inch or nine inch size balloons. So I'm gonna try to make it really small and then try to maybe attach it to the four. Let's see if that works. So we're back. I, I think that video is so funny. You can see the struggle. I was breaking up in sweat and certain parts, um, like pumping that number four with a regular air pump. Oh my God, that was crazy. And then the, the twisted balloons are, I gotta find another way to do it. Cause it's, like I said, it's two techniques there, but I gotta, I don't know if I have to buy a post and something I could clip it. And then I could do it standing up rather than on the floor and maybe um, have more control so I could be able to mold it more of what how I wanted to curl curl um so and also if you notice um I like using the twisted 260 balloon to tie the quads together um the 160 kind of snap out of me and the string the ribbon balloon you are going to need that type um to do that when you're going to do an arch rather than the two um the 260 because you need it you need you know just it's a continuation of tying the balloons together um when i did the arch um i did the first two sets of quad of uh, sets of quad the two sets first i tied it with a 260 and then i went in with the curling um um the ribbon balloon and started you know attaching all the quads and making it into an arch um so um so you know i'll try it again and i'll see what i could do like i said there's services out there and there's different types of balloon and also what you could do and amazon they sell those things that you could make the size of the balloon the shape that you want the measurement like nine inch or five inch you just put them in there like i said you could use a carton um a box you know when you get an amazon just cut the circle and nine inches eight inches whatever you want you could do it yourself one of those or just buy on Amazon. I think I have um, the link or the picture somewhere here. It'll be coming up soon. And so that's it, you know. So I, what do you think? I really didn't like the bouquet of four. I think it was like a bunch of balloons just, is just vomiting and they're all attached together. So I need to have more of a structure or draw it or something like that. I just, I don't know. I need to do that. Um, so, ¿qué, pens ¿qué piensan ustedes del de resultado de mi proyecto de Globo? A mí no me gustó mucho, me, eh, se ve como que vomité mucho eh, Globo y se pegaron todos juntos. Pero es de buenas prácticas. Um, y lo que le quiero decir es que yo usé la, el Globo del, que es más largo, no sé cómo se dice, que se, para doblar, eh, para amarrarlo. Es mejor, me gusta usar eso mejor que, que la cinta. Uh, que, que, como que está más, más sólido, más fuerte pero si va a ser un arco va a necesitar la cinta, so, yo lo que hago es que lo do, las 12 de, 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 de globo vejiga también, la pongo junta la amarro con la, el, el globo de 12 en 60 y después si tengo que, cuando estoy haciendo el arco con las otras um, globo vejiga, entonces comienzo con la cinta amarrarlo, eso es lo que voy a hacer um, 
Voy a tratar otra vez de hacerlo. Y, so eso. y la otra cosa es también que pueden comprar en Amazon eh, eh, como la medida. Si quieren, cuando lo ponen en el aire, si quieren, me dice que tienen el globo de 9 pulgadas, de 5 pulgadas. Ellos tienen eso. O pueden, como yo dije en el video, comprar un, eh, un cartón de eso que ustedes cuando ordenan algo o de Amazon o de UPS, cortar el círculo de la pulgada que ustedes quieran de 9, de 9 a 9 o 5, si no quieren comprarlo. No creo que muy, no es tan caro el tamaño, pero si no quieren gastar dinero en eso. También de, de tipo de, de globo, también depende, pueden hacer muy linda. Yo lo que he oído, uh, que he sabido que algunas veces ellos ponen otro globo para darle otro diferente color. Eso es muy interesante, eso voy a tratar eso en mi próxima. Um, so, como digo, voy a ver lo que hago en la próxima, si me tengo que hacer otra vez el arco. Uh, voy a practicar uh, y le dejo saber, so, va, van a ver más videos de esto si quieren, de, comenten y me dejan saber si quieren ver más de esto. Um, comment below if you would like to see the other video of the arch. Um, I'm going to do another arch, you know, graduation party. I think I'm going to do it for my niece. Um, and there's also different types of balloons that you could buy. Um, you know, the latex are different texture and you could get different colors. I know that some people, I'll, I have to figure that one out or look into it, where they put the other, like I did with the 160 and the 260, they put the balloon in there. But sometimes they put the, or the around balloons, they put it to get different colors, which is very interesting. So maybe I'll check that and see. Um, maybe it'll look much prettier, color of a solid color when you do these arches. Um, So comment below and let me know what you think. I also gonna, you know, so I'll do another video and let me know if you want me to do another video like this regarding the balloons. And I'm going to also, I am getting into like with the 260, the twisted balloon. I am working on it. So I'll make a video that I made a bunny and a little, <laughs> and a little doggy. I'm gonna try to make a turtle. And this is just fun for the kids. I think it's something great to do for, with the kids. So también le voy a enseñar otro video si están interesado de lo, del globo ese flaquito de que se dobla ya yo hice un perrito un, con, un conejo y voy a tratar de hacer una tor tortuga so vamos a ver si quieren ver eso me dejan saber so familia muchas gracias por su apoyo por, por favor suscríbanse si no han hecho y si han muchas gracias por, por eso y sigan con nosotros viendo estos videos uh -huh. thank you so much for your For your support fa familia um thank you for subscribing if you haven't please subscribe and like us por favor danos el dedo and have a great time hasta luego familia adios familia